Incredible facts about traditions and food in Ireland. The Irish tricolor flag. Ireland's national flag is a tricolor of green, white, and orange. The colors orange and white stand for William of Orange's supporters. While the green represents Ireland's Gaelic culture and the wishes for peace between the two. St. Patrick The annual St. Patrick's Day holiday is celebrated on March 17. Irish families would typically go to church in the morning and celebrate in the afternoon on St. Patrick's Day. This comes during the Christian season of Lent. They would dance, drink, and feast on the traditional Irish dish of bacon and cabbage when the meat-eating ban during Lent was lifted. According to popular belief, leprechauns prefer to reside in forested and woodland environments. Every leprechaun has his very own pot of gold. These creatures can move quickly and are highly swift. Halloween originated in Ireland. Halloween, as it is celebrated around the world today, has its roots in the ancient Celtic celebration of Samhain. When people would light bonfires and dress up in spooky costumes to fend off evil spirits. Samhain, which means, darker half, in Old Gaelic, symbolizes the beginning of winter. Ireland was the Titanic's last port of call. In Belfast, Northern Ireland, the Titanic was constructed. The ship's final port of call was Cobh, County Cork, even though it had officially sailed for America from Southampton, England. While the Titanic experience in Belfast is a well-liked tourist destination, not many people travel to Cork. This city, Cork, is a small coastal town where memorial statues and a little Titanic museum are located on the site of an ancient train station. Ireland is home to three famous breweries. The island nation is renowned for its fine booze, and for good reason. Brewing has been practiced in this nation for more than 5,000 years. Three well-known producers currently call it home. Guinness, Smithwick's, and Harp Lager. The renowned Irish beer is a fascinating information about Ireland. There is a 9,000-year land lease for the Guinness Brewery. At St. James Gate in 1759, founder Arthur Guinness inscribed the last document. In 1769, the business sent its renowned beer for the first time to England. Visit the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin for the ultimate tasting tour to learn more. Currently, the nation is home to over 75 independent breweries that provide the thousands of taverns throughout the country with distinctive craft beers. Ireland's strangest foods that everyone should taste. Box tea. The ingredients for a box tea potato pancake are flour, potatoes, baking soda, and buttermilk. It was first used in Ireland, specifically in areas around the northwest coast and in the North Midlands. The dish has recently made a reappearance on the Irish food scene. And one prominent Dublin restaurant that specializes in this native cuisine is Gallagher's Box Tea House. Bacon and Cabbage Without this local delicacy, a list of odd dishes from Ireland would fall short. A traditional Irish cuisine that has endured through the ages in Ireland is bacon and cabbage. As you might have guessed, this meal typically consists of sliced bacon, cabbage, and a bed of potatoes. Coddle Another stew-like meal is coddle. Since leftovers are frequently used, it is easy to prepare and inexpensive for the general public. The typical ingredients are potato chunks, sausages, rashers, also known as bacon, onions, and occasionally carrot. There is no specific recipe for this dish because it is a leftovers dish. Champ 
Champ is another potato-based Irish meal, like Colcannon. Mashed potatoes are combined with a ton of butter, milk, cheese, spring onions, and seasonings of salt and pepper in this classic recipe. This dish is frequently served alongside boiled ham or Irish bacon and is also best served as a side dish. Irish Stew An indigenous dish is Irish stew. In a soup or broth, a single type of meat is served with a variety of root vegetables. Despite the fact that Irish stew may look like strange food, it is a traditional dish with centuries of history. Irish breakfast Irish breakfasts are renowned worldwide. Put the breakfast plate inside a baguette that was just baked if you want to take things to the next level. To finish it off, slather it in tomato ketchup or barbecue sauce. Irish breakfast rolls are available in many local newsagents that also include a delicatessen, such as Centra or Spar, as well as numerous cafes. Thank you for watching. For more, press the like, subscribe and ring the bell to get the news.